Hey everyone, I'm Lyle Burks with The Vacuum Speaks. And this is the 48 Laws of Power. Hey everyone, it's Lyle Burks with The Viking Speaks. This is day 45 of the 90 day video challenge. I have the 48 Laws of Power, Law 10. Infection. Avoid the unhappy and unlucky. You can die from someone else's misery. The emotional states are as infectious as disease. You may feel you are helping the drowning man, but you are only precipitating your own disaster. The unfortunate sometimes draw misfortune on themselves. They will also draw it to you. Associate with the happy and fortunate instead. So, in this chapter, they talk about the infamous Lola Montez. Now, I won't go into too much detail here, but there is a passage I want to read to you. And I encourage you, if you haven't heard of Lola Montez, there's a song by the band Volbeat that goes into detail about her exploits. And basically, she is a force to be reckoned with. She was like Cleopatra reborn. It was incredible. She jumped from man to man. She was infectious. It was beyond sexual. She had a power that was just unfathomable. But I want to read this for you real quick. This kind of explains it. Lola Montez attracted men with her wiles, but her power over them went beyond the sexual. It was through the force of her character that she kept her lovers enthralled. Men were sucked into the maelstrom of her. She churned up around her and they felt confused, upset, but the strength of the emotion she stirred up also made them feel more alive. As is often the case with infection, the problem would no only arise over time. Lola's inherent instability would begin to get under her lover's skin. They would find themselves drawn into her problems, but their emotional attachment to her would make them want to help her. This was crucial, and it was a big part of her disease, for Lola Montez could not be helped. Her problems were too deep. Once the lover identified for them, he was lost. He would find himself embroiled in quarrels. The infection would spread to his family and his friends, and in the case of Ludwig, to an entire nation. The only solution would be to cut her off or suffer an eventual collapse. The infecting character type is not restricted to women. It has nothing to do with gender. It stems from an inward instability that radiates outward, drawing disaster upon itself. Excuse me. There is almost a desire to destroy and unsettle. You could spend a lifetime studying the pathology of infecting characters. But don't waste your time, just learn the lesson. When you suspect that you are in the presence of an infector, don't argue, don't try to help, don't pass the, that person on to your friends, or you will become enmeshed. Flee the infector's presence suffer the consequences. Now, I don't know much more of a powerful statement than that. But Lola Montez is about as infectious as they come. I know in this book alone, they talk about a minimum of five men that she went from country to country, city to city. And when she lost favor with one, she would simply use her ways and gain feather with another and she would gain her fame and fortune and she would go about her way and as soon as it would happen again the cycle would repeat she'd move on but a little older a little wiser a little more capable to cause more damage so from my perspective there's another side to this misery loves company I know y'all have heard that. And basically what that means is you got problems. 80% of the people out there are glad you have it. No, it's the other way around, excuse me. 
20% of the people are glad you have it and 80% don't care. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, regardless of the percentage, what's the common thing when you are around people who are unhappy, the pessimist, the one who is always negative about everything, the Debbie Downer? They love to tell you what's going on. They love to excite your bad feelings, your negative thoughts, because they want to hear about your bad day and they want to know that you're having a bad day just like them. Or you're in a situation or you lost money or you had a bad relationship or you had a fight with your wife or you had a tussle with your boyfriend, whatever it is. They want you to be just as miserable as them. Helps them feel important. Gives them power. So it's real simple. Stay away from them. As soon as you recognize that someone is one of those infector types, say, hey, you know what? I appreciate your time. Have a nice day. You don't need that in your life. You see all these funny memes about I don't need that kind of negativity in my life? Well, guess what? You really don't. There's some truth to that. If you want any semblance of power, do yourself a favor. Stay away from the miserable ones. And learn to tell the difference between someone going through a hard time and someone who is miserable always. For the sake of misery. Sometimes it's difficult to tell the difference, but I promise there is a difference. And it is imperative that you learn to tell the difference. So, that's all I got for tonight. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Much love. Rockin' out.